as the minutes ticked down on the silent, unmoving streets, a shadow shifted slightly. It bent and turned, taking on a human-esque appearance as its neck craned to better survey Caterville in all its glory. Across the city, a dozen more shadows did the same, exploring it from every nook and cranny. When the midnight hour arrived, unmarked by any grandeur or notice, the original shadow released a single word from its insubstantial lips. Perfection. Like a sinking island amidst a sea of shade, Caterville was suddenly swallowed up as animated darkness surged from the ground. It rose past the close-cut lawns and decorative mailboxes, higher than the carefully pruned trees and brick chimney stacks, up and up until the wave of rising darkness appeared to kiss the heavens themselves. Then, like an umbral rain, it fell. What was revealed could no longer be seen as Caterville, yet its origins were equally undeniable. Was that not Farmer Jake's pasture, where the glowing-eyed scarecrows prowled through the waving cornstalks? Could one not see the similarities between the visibly booby-trapped brutalist building and the town school. A great ringing from the bells of what had once been Caterville's church echoed through the night, awakening its residents to the changes wrought to their town and themselves. Through it all, one figure stood smiling from ear to ear. Where the first shadow had appeared, now lingered a pale woman in what began as an elegant gown, before morphing to a capricious and billowing skirt. She was wrapped in a thick cloak, though the hood lay on her back, revealing dark hair which fell just low enough to graze her own neck. Across the entire ensemble, the coloration of black and orange held utter and unquestionable dominance. She could feel the panic budding and building all throughout the town. Normally, it was a flavor she savored dearly. However, that was a tribulation meant for guests— these would be her staff, and as such it was vital they maintain a calm, collected perspective. The awakening of her power had only begun, and she was still a month from its zenith, but she needed barely more than a thought to reach out and touch the minds of those within her domain. Along with her words, she sent a sensation of trust and ease. Everything would be all right. They were the fortunate ones. For the next month, each would be entirely protected by her power. They would be without pain, without fear, without need or suffering. And when her time was done, she would impart a boon to each, balancing the debt for services rendered. They were safe. It was the guests who would have to face danger. Danger.